YouTube. It's your boy L A L A L A L A L A Owls, and we back with another video. Today we got BTB Savage on him and his girlfriend killing a man who tried, who tried, niggas can't write, a man who tried to rob him. But um, yeah, I was gonna tune into this earlier, no bullshit, but. When I seen the interview yesterday, I fell asleep, I was high as shit, and I wake up to the news, this nigga passes away. That is very unfortunate and sad, especially after surviving something so tragic, to have your life taken away less than 24 hours, 24 hours later is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. But man, before we get into this, you already know what to do, smash that like button, comment some other things you'd like to see me react to, comment how you feel about this reaction, and most importantly... Subscribe and ring that post notification bell, man. But let's tune into this. All right, here we go. Today we have BTB Savage, who was recently involved in killing a man in self-defense who tried to rob him at his home. Welcome to Vlad TV. Yes, sir. What's the deal, Vlad? Well, number one, I'm glad you're safe. You had a very, very traumatic situation that recently happened. Um... So I want to go ahead and get into this whole situation. So all this happened in San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, I say. Okay. So tell me exactly what happened leading up to the situation. Shit, they was always hitting me up to do music and shit like that. So I was like, all right, bet. Well, one day, it was late. I was like, shit. They was going to pay for the feature or whatever. We're going to do the song. And then they got to do the promo with it. I was going to do it at first. I wasn't going to do it at first. I mean, because it was so late. It was like down there 10, 11. And I was talking to the girl I was with at the time. I'm like, shit, so I do this shit. I wait till tomorrow and just meet him at a real studio. Like, and then, but I, I ain't going to lie. I just wanted the bread. I'm like, all right, bet. They're going to pull up. I'm going to grab the bread real quick, dip out, and then go back to the uh, my other crib with my cousin there. Bro, so, um, another thing. That's why you can't be so, like, money hungry. You feel me? Once you're at the crib, you're at the crib. That's what my, old, my, that's what my dukes always tell me. Once you're at the crib, you're at the crib. You feel me? Don't take no late night shit for no money. That's when shit always happens. Same shit happened to my cousin. But fortunately, he came out on the other side. And he, his man, stepped up to play, did what he had to do. Someone ended up dying that night. But it wasn't my cousin. Shit, so last minute, I'm like, shit, just come on. They're like, we got our own studio. Like, if I say something, they got something to respond to. They're like, oh, I don't um, got this. Oh, I got it. I got this. That, too. That's a setup. If a nigga adamantly trying to get you to come, you're saying, oh, I don't need a ride. Well, I can come and get you. Damn, I don't got a good fit for right now. Oh, I got a good fit for you. Damn, my shorty said I can't come. Oh, I'll talk to her for you. Nigga, come on, man. He, he There's a reason why he's so adamant for you to come. I got that. So I'm like, shit, pull up. Let's do the song real quick. So they pull up or whatever, and it's him. I mean, it's, it's other people in the car. So I don't know how that go or whatever. I don't know if they were dropping them off or what. So boom, they both hop out. And I'm like, what's up? I'm talking to them. I'm like, what's up? What y'all on? Blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, man, we just chilling. They're like, I've been trying to do this for the longest, bro. You be bullshitting and da-da-da. I'm like, all right, bet. We go inside the crib. And then they just talking and shit, like looking around. That's why I, I, I figured it was kind of weird they looking around when they first walked in my crib, like, more like that and shit. But I, I just kind of didn't pay it no mind. I was just more of like, come on, let's get this out of the way. I'm just going to knock this out. 30 seconds, like, wrap it real quick, and now I'm done. I ain't tripping. So, boom, they they got down, started pulling out their they equipment or whatever, or fake equipment. Like, he pulled out a little box. that it, It's a studio box, but, like, it got the uh, mixer in it. It ain't have really shit in it. So then a the dude... I guess the older dude, I, don't, I ain't really know him like that. I don't know. I don't know them like that. I didn't know him at all. So whenever um, he was talking to me, the dude I'm talking to for the feature or whatever, he uh, talking to his uncle. Like He like, oh, I ain't got this. I ain't got that. So his uncle said, go to the car and get more. Like get, your, get the rest of the equipment or whatever. So I'm thinking like, damn, why would you? It should be the opposite way. You tell him to go. That too, nigga. Like, a nigga ain't coming up fully ready to your crib. You got to go back out and get some. Nah, bro. Fishy. Because I'm, you, we like the ones, we, we locked in. We talked or whatever about the song, to do the song. And you go leave the random dude in my crib type shit. So when he walked out, I was kind of nervous. So I locked the door. 
most locked. And um, his uncle. Smart man. See, I like that. At least his bro was on his P's and Q's. No bullshit. He put out some bread. He like, oh man, we ain't on that. We ain't on that. Uh, we not on no weird shit or nothing like that. You ain't got to lock the doors and like that. He, like, I'm a grown man or whatever. I like, oh nah, bro. I just got PTSD. Like whenever he come and knock on the door, I just open it like that. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna let nobody a random person walk in my crib. And then he like, he like, oh no, I respect that. I respect that. And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, we be doing that shit. We be active too. He put on our bread. He was like, yeah, I've been doing this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, I was like, shit, not, not for sure. Like, respect, like, do your thing. I ain't tripping. I, don't care. I actually don't give a fuck what they were doing. They did, where the bread at? Like, pay for the yeah. shit and got my face for real. So, um, yeah. while he talking, he asked him about my chain. He was like, uh, how much, of, what do you go to? Blah, blah, blah. How much you hit you for? I'm I'm gonna hold you. One thing I hate is when a nigga come up to me asking about my chain. Like, you feel me? I'm like, like, I can read people's faces really well. You feel me? So, like, if I feel like you're on that shit, nigga, you come and ask me about my chain. Listen, I'm not a felon, my boy. I'm not a felon, my boy. I'm not a felon, my boy. I'm going to say it one more time. For you guys that's asking, oh, why is he saying he's not a felon? If you don't know, just know I'm not a felon. So if you ever feel like reaching for this 10K on my neck, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I, I dropped the bag on this one. Da, 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 da. And then while I'm talking, I, I go down to um, look at like, look at my piece. While you're talking, I'm like, this one? I'm like, yeah, this one. While I'm looking down like that, that's when he up the pole on me. And he's like, oh, yeah, run that. And he had a distance back. And I'm like, man, you got me fucked up. I ain't running shit. So, I like um, that, real nigga. And he was like, shit, if you don't run that, I'm going to blow you. And he was like, I'm going to shoot you type shit. And I was like, I was like, bro, you dead ass here right now. And he was like, I'll shoot your bitch, nigga. Run that shit. And so while I'm sitting there, I'm talking to him or whatever. He got to run that. I'm like, nah, you got me fucked up, bro. What the hell you got going? And then he was like, nah, what? I see you flexing on Instagram all that shit. What that? Where, where is that? Like that. I was like, man. I was like, bro, all right, bro. I started taking off my chain. First, because he started asking me about other shit, like, where is it? So I'm like, I'm giving what he want real quick. So I took off my chain, and he's standing at a distance. He's still at a distance, so I can't, like, move quick and jump. So when he come over, he uh, he reached for the the chain, and he took the gun off of me. Right there, I hit him with, uh, like, both of his arms under my armpit, like this. And I, I like, lean back, like, all the way back, so the elbows lock up like that. So he holding a gun, he turned it and fired at the refrigerator. And then he like, run it, run it. So I just fell all I fell, fell back. Like if he would have like tried to hold back, his arm was gonna break. So I just jumped back and fall all the way back. And then when we fall down to the ground, his his hand slammed under me. So he let the gun go. And then he tried to pull out, I don't know if he, what he was pulling out, but I took his arm in again while he was on top of me on the floor. So his arms under me, both his arms under me, and I could feel the guns on my back. So I push my back all the way down and like bring him closer to me. I'm like, I'm like, damn, come shoot him, bitch, come shoot him. I'm yelling at him, I'm like, come shoot him, come shoot him. I don't know where she at. So I just keep telling with him like that until I get rest of them shits out of her hand. I hit him. So then she running over there. She got down shaking and shit. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, shoot him, shoot him. So like when well, I, I edge, I swing my hip under him like that to put. No funny shit. When I seen um Shorty shot him. I was about to say no funny shit. Bro got to eat the ass, suck the toes, and marry her. But he met an untimely demise, so RP, bro. But me, nigga, my shorty do that. Eat the ass, suck the toes. Got to get a ring all in one day. You got to hit her with the triple whammy, bro. She caught a body for you. She caught a smack for you, my nigga. She smacked someone down for you. Obviously, it's for y'all, but still, a lot of females ain't doing that. A lot of females let both of y'all get clapped up. You feel me? So, that's kind of crazy. She was blown back, nigga. I'm on top of me, all the way on top of me. And then she's popping in the back twice. I just like, boom, boom. And the back, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. And this nigga turned into the motherfucking hawk right there. You would think he would be the hawk before he got shot. But right there, that's when I guess he got a full adrenaline rush. He started going crazy, like, he saw, I ain't gonna lie, he got the edge over me, basically to where I was on his, like, on his back. He pulled the guns out, and I got nervous or whatever, so I just swing off from under him, and I get on his back, and I start wrestling with him. And then I see he got two guns in his hand, so I'm like, where the fuck did he get two guns from? Like, what the fuck? 
So I'm holding him down like that. And I grab control of the gun because he got his hand on the ground trying to get up. So I'm all on his back. I put my left hand on the gun and the right gun, he aim at the uh, bitch or whatever. He like aiming at her head, trying to put the beam. So I'm grabbing his arm. Like he really trying to aim and shoot at her face type shit. So like he put the beam on her head. And I'm like, run, bitch, run. Like move out the way. And then she take off running. He fired three times. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, Yo, you see? You see by what I mean, bro? You got to tell people what to do. Like, he had to tell her, come pop him. He had to tell her, move. If he's not telling her this, she would have been dead, too, bro. You feel me? So, it's like, this shit's crazy. Oh, no. So, I, I, when I grab him, I make him put the gun down. So, he got both of his hands on the ground, but his, his hands still on the guns. And I don't got a good grip. So, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? My kid in that back room, fam, tripping. I'm like, go ahead and get up out of here, bro. You already fired, like, five shots. It's hot. The police on the way. Whatever you're trying to do, gonna go bad for you. You're gonna go straight to prison. Like, go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. He like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm leaving with some nigga. I'm like, bro, you got me fucked up. He was like, oh, you gonna die. He was like, you gonna die up in here. And I was like, you got me fucked up, nigga. You dying. Fuck that. So I, I, I started going crazy, like getting all over him, just whatever he do to get the guns off of him. So while we on the ground tussling, he like, shoot through the door. Shoot through the door. So then I hear like, Boom, like as if they tried to kick. Right now, overnight treatment. By week three, it basically lifted my neck and my gels. Okay, Mara. Melted to perfection. Try the new toasted baguettes from Panera. The door. As they try to kick the door or whatever, I'm like, uh, I, I'm still on top of them. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, I'm like, pass me the gun, pass me the gun. He tell, they're about to shoot through the door. Because I was going to lay down and he just turn around and start dumping through the door. And then she like, she's scared to go over there because they fired twice and they stopped. So it looked like a five second part. They were like, boom, boom, through, the, through my door. So I'm standing on top of him and he stayed trying to kick me towards the door. So he like pushing me, shoving me towards the door. And I'm like moving his arms up the way, trying to get on top of him. So then um, she fought, they fired two times through the door. I'm like, slide it, slide the gun. And he like kind of right by the edge of the, it's like an island in the middle. He kind of by the edge of the island. So it's like she can't go around there and grab that gun or slide the gun because I'm I'm under like where his waistline is, grabbing all that shit. He's trying to push me down. And I just keep calling up him and grabbing him, but laying on the ground and keeping my head down. So while they firing through the door, they fire twice. I'm like, slide me the gun, slide me the gun. She's like, they shooting through the door. Like she don't want to run over there. And I, I don't blame her. It's her first time like even shooting a gun or shooting somebody. So I don't expect her to be on point about everything type shit. So I'm like, all right, I'm like, all right, baby. I'm like, shoot him then, shoot him. But after I said shoot him, bro, I, I probably said like 20 rounds just go off through my door. Boom, 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 boom. Back to back to back to back to back, to back nonstop. Like that shit would not stop me. I'm like, I'm not gonna hold you. The way these niggas was coming about this jewelry, I don't know how bro didn't think they was gonna come for him after he killed one of them. You feel me? Cause bro. Look how they was coming about you, jewelry or whatever they wanted to take from you, bro. Bro, five shots already been fired. Minutes have been going by already. The cops is definitely on their way. And them niggas is still firing 20 shots through the door. Another 20? Bro, them niggas, come on, bro. Come on, man. I bet so. Boom, I'm, I'm still stepping down. I tell her to shoot through the door. I'm like, shoot through the door. Fuck it, then. You don't want to slide me to go blow that bit through the door, then. So she shoot through the door twice. She like, boom, boom, and shoot through the door. And then uh, they left him. They left him like, <laughs> nobody shooting through the door. Nobody kicking. You would think like, if you go on, I ain't going to say if you're going to go do something like that, everybody going to be on tech. Like, especially if y'all call yourself family or whatever, you would think they partners going to go all out. Like, once they shoot through the door, my door is weak at that point. All you could do is step through it. Like, they didn't do nothing. They just completely left him for dead type shit. So I'm like, all right. Oh, they're scary. Like, that's when I knew I had the edge over. I'm like, oh, they left him. I don't hear nothing no more. Like, we tussling and fighting. I don't hear nothing. So we get over there by, by my couch, and we just wrestling and shit. I'm like, come shoot him again, because he got one gun in his hand. I already got the other one out of his hand. So I'm like, come shoot him again. Come shoot him again. And then he run over there. Uh, well, she run over there, and she aiming a gun, but he's sitting down, and I'm, like, standing over him. And I'm like, bitch ass nigga, oh, I'm punching him. Bitch ass nigga, bitch ass nigga, watch out. And then I, I I hit him with a knee in the face. And that's when he started going to like panic mode, like going crazy, trying to grab for the gun and grab my leg. And I'm like, shoot him, shoot him. And then she like trying to aim, but he keep pushing me in front of him. 
Because he's sitting down in between my legs, holding both of my legs like that. At that point, like he just started reaching for the gun. He just started trying to get me down. So I'm like, so I'm like moving over or whatever. And when I finally like push over and get my leg out the way, then my arm is on him, like in front of him. So when she fired the shot, the bullet hit me straight on my elbow. It just snapped. I'm like, oh, fuck, That's bitch, you shot me. So that bitch ass nigga didn't shoot me at all. I don't know if they gave me, you know what I'm saying? That he didn't hit me at all. Like he was just straight soft, like weak. So anyway, got down. She shoot me at my elbow and instantly break. I'm like, fuck, you just shot me, bitch. What the fuck? Aim, aim right. So whenever she she do that, I move all the way out the way because my shit is completely broken, like dangling in it. All I can see my whole bone on my arm. Damn. And I can only move my fingers and my full hand but I can't pick it up straight like this. It's just hanging down like that. But it can move, it can grip at the same type of strength my right hand can at that at that time. So I'm still holding him down while my shit's bleeding out and I'm holding him down so he don't slot over to that gun and, and they in the gunfight and I don't got a gun at all. So um, while, I'm, while I'm doing that or whatever, she shoot him again, like after she me in my elbow, I move all the way out the way. My shit broken or whatever. She popped him again in the shoulder or the chest, I think. I don't know where to hit him. But I seen him go like this. We like, fuck. And then we wrestling again on the ground. We just tugging up for that shit or whatever. So I kick the gun and I'm thinking this away from him or like, he good. So I, I step over to talk. I'm like, I'm like, go grab my son and get your shit and let's fucking go like that. And I'm like, let's get the fuck up out of here. Let's dip, let's dip. Thinking this away from him or like, he good. So I, I step over to talk. I'm like, I'm like, go grab my son and get your shit and let's fucking go like that. And I'm like, let's get the fuck up out of here. Let's dip, let's dip. And then I see him still crawling over, like still moving and shit, like trying to get. And then like, I ain't gonna lie, where I kicked it, it was in the hallway, right? But he got towards it and it looked like he was moving towards where my son was. So I just instantly went in panic mode and I dove on him like, as if I was diving in the pool, literally jumped on him. And I'm on his back holding him down like tight like that. I'm like, watch out, bro. Watch the fuck out. What is you doing, bro? Get the fuck up out of here. Just go now. Like that. And then he was like, no, nah, I'm leaving here with something. I'm leaving here with something. So I just, uh, while we tugging, you can tell his uh, back, like the bullet from his back is, is getting to him. Because right when he tried to get up, when I walked away to talk to her, he tried to get up and his legs buckled. He just instantly fell. He tried to stand up. Boom, he just fell down. And his leg like, looked Sorry. crazy as hell while he moving towards the, the gun. So when I jump on him, he got his hand on the gun already and his finger on the trigger. But it's like my the hallway and then my son room to the left. So he right in the middle. All he do is got to crawl two more inches and turn left and my son right there. So while I'm doing that, I, I drag his arm down a little bit where it's towards the wall in the bathroom, facing the wall in the bathroom. And I put my finger on top of his finger and I start firing the gun. And I can tell he, went, he couldn't really move like that because he's weak. Like at that point, he just, he just fell in everything. So I put my knee on his neck like that. And I'm holding him down. I, f I put my finger on top of his finger. I'm firing all the bullets for him. So when all the bullets empty, he like, oh, bro, my bad. Come on, bro. I got kids too, bro. Let me make it home. And nah. Let me nah. I respect it, bro, because he was talking that shit, saying I'm leaving here with something. But come on, man. That's not the way to go after you try to take the nigga for what he what he earned, you feel me? Now you're going to say, I got kids. Come on, bro. He got a kid, too. His kid's in the room. Why are you trying to do his kid's in the house? Why are you trying to do the egregious act you're committing? So to say you got kids after you try to do that to him is kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie. But one thing I do is, I, I do respect this. I do respect your admiration to leave there with something after starting. You feel me? Whatever like that. I'm like, bro, you good? I'm like, I'm like, you good, nigga? I'm like, give a fuck about you. I, like, I hope you die, bitch. Like that. I'm like, you just said you're going to kill my son. And then he was like, no, nah, bro, no, nah, bro, no, nah, it's not like that. I'm like, fuck you. Like that. So, boom, whenever I, I run to the back, I'm like, you got my son? And she's like, I'm picking him up now. So I heard that when she pick him up, she put the blanket over his head. But it's it's like the middle of the night. He's knocked out, got school in the morning. So he got day is super tired. He in the middle of the sleep. My son sleep like that. So he got down. She put him on the shoulder. He stayed asleep. She put the blanket over his head. He not seeing nothing. He just sleep on her shoulder. We walking out. And then um, right when she come out, I'm standing by the bathroom watching her, waiting for her to come out so I can take everybody out at once. And then I hear like a boom. And I just tell her, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. 
and then she started crying because she's scared. So I grabbed the knot, the, the knife from her and I put it on my hip. And I was like, oh, chill out, chill out, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I don't know who in here. And then I, I hear them, you know, like, fuck. But I don't know what the fuck. Maybe they cleaned up. Maybe they grabbed sticks or whatever. Whatever was laying around, maybe they were trying to, I don't know what the fuck they did for real. I just was chilling in the back and she started crying like hella loud. Like, I wouldn't say loud, but loud enough to where somebody can hear you. So I smashed my hand around my, I'm like, shut the fuck up before you wake my son up and you see what the fuck going on. So I'm like, I got my hand around my quiet as fuck. I'm like, shut the fuck up, like, be quiet. And then she like, sitting in the back chilling and she like, all right, I'm about to go out there and check. So I pull a gun up and then I walk out there and I'm just aiming and I see him right there by the, uh, by the door. And then he like, he crawled over by the side where my front door is. And it's like a little edge where he just lay right there. And then, um, he like, while I walk by, he grabbed and, and I see him right. And then, um, he like, while I walk by, he grabbed my foot. He like, what are you worried about? I'll kiss you up at night. Like, come on, bro. Take me with you, bro. I, just, I can make it to the hospital. I just need to go to the hospital. I was like, fuck you. Bro. I ain't taking no fucking... Nah, that's crazy, but like... Because it's like, what would you do if someone broke into your house, shoes on the other foot, someone broke into your house trying to steal what you got, you fucking shoot them two, three times... Now the nigga is asking to take you to the hospital. It's like, yo, I got kids. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Like, what would you do? Shoot on the other foot, man. So it's like, you know, you can't get mad at him for saying no. Hospital, but yo, I was about to fry right here. And if they come save you, then they come save you. If not, then you're like a toaster. You're gone. Last day. Last supper. Whatever the fuck you ate before you came there. Damn. That shit gone. So that was pretty much that. After that, I rushed it out. That part right there was kind of grimy. Spit Well, I, I go down. I'm trying to stuff everything in the car. And my son wake up. And see, he like, oh, what's up, dad? But I'm already in the driver's seat, like, hiding my elbow. I'm like, hey, we're going to play a little game. We're going to play a little game real quick. And I, I'm going to take you to your mama house. Damn, that sucks, bro. Now this nigga's son, no, no more daughter, bro. That's sad, bro. That's sad as fuck, bro. That's one thing I could never, ever wish on anybody. Even someone I don't like. I can't wish death on someone when I know they got kids, man. That's kind of fucked up. Having no parents growing up, man. Or missing your parent because they're not coming back. It must be the worst feeling. And then he was like, what? I was like, you got to go like this. And close your eyes. And then you can't open them until I tell you to open them. Or are you going to go to mommy's house and get a toy? And he was like, okay. And he put his hands over his face. But I was doing that because the way my arm was, it was just hanging off. And I couldn't move it because it was like pressure in my bone on my elbow. So I just picked my arm up and put that motherfucker right here. And I'm like, all right, take it off. And he take it off. I'm like, all right, that ain't good. So when I drive down, I got blood all over my arm. And then whatever the fuck. So uh, reminder, I already dipped out. I don't know where the fuck they at. I'm thinking they're going to be in a parking garage or something. Nobody in the parking garage at all. So I go, I drive down or whatever, and then I stop. I'm like, oh, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't drive. I can't drive. Somebody got to come. So I call my boy. I'm like, hey, pull up, pull up. I can go to the hospital, bro. I got shot. My bone bro. Like, you got shot. He was like, bro, where you at? I'm like, I'm downtown. I'm at the spot in my crib. He was like, oh, I was out eating with the bitch or whatever, bro. Like, so this thing is going to say where he live at. Come on, bro. I'm seven minutes away. I'm about to turn her lift to the crib. I'm like, bet. So, boom, he pull up. He swing around. I jump in the car. We go to the hospital. Shit, I land. I pass out for like an hour or two. Cause just because I started losing so much blood, I started feeling weak. So, I guess they plugged me up or whatever. I woke up with like an IV in my arm type shit. And then the police are like, are you good to talk? I guess they sat in there until I woke up. So, are you good to talk? I'm like, what's up? And that shit. They asked me what happened. I broke down the story to him. I'm like, yeah, they will probably do this or whatever. Then he tried to rob me from a jury or take whatever was he think was in the house. So, boom. He like, all right, well, we just want to get your side of the story. We're going to ask your, the girl at the time. I, the girl at the time I was with, they, they asking her too. But I guess they talked to her before me. They already talked to her type shit. So the DEA pulled up or whatever. And then I, I took a nap. And then some other dude walked in. He had a jacket. He like, oh, I need to talk to you. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm just thinking it's a regular, like, a homer, not, I wouldn't even say a homicide detective, just like a, a DEA officer, someone that's not motherfucking regular police type shit, like a regular federal agent. So I'm like, all right, bet. 
I'm talking to him, whatever. I'm like, shit, somebody tried to rob me in my crib. He died. Uh, I mean, or he got popped or whatever. And I'm like, um, I, I, I don't know what really happened after he got shot and jumped out whenever they kicked through the door. I guess I was in a closet with her. So I had a blood trail like that. Even the whole thing, the blood trail all the way to the closet. My arm broke at the time too. So I'm just my one hand over, like taking that shit. And then I'm like, but shut the fuck up. Whatever, whatever. So I tell him all that, whatever. And then he was like, well, he died. And I was like, shit, good. Like my fucking son was in there. I was like, so whatever going on, I ain't tripping. Like that, I did that shit for my son. I was like, he got it. He had to go. He had to die. Like that. And I was like, I could have really got the time where it was time for me to grab the gun. And she would have slid it. He could have grabbed it. So shit. I told her to blow him. That's what she got to do. Like, I mean, shit. That's my girl at the time. So shit. If I step, you better step. And then I go. Okay. So you talk to the detective. Yeah. You explain you know, your story, she explained her story. The story's matched up, obviously. So they basically said it's self-defense. You're free to go. Yep, because at first, I ain't gonna lie, they said the story didn't match because I ain't telling my son was in there because I was too scared to lose him. I'm like, fuck what they gonna say if I said my son in there. But then when that uh, homicide detective came up, he was like, oh, he died or whatever. He was like, was there a kid in there? I was like, nah, there wasn't no kid at all. I was like, I don't know, he was just there. And then the other lady came in, but my girl, I already told her that the kid was in there. So she was like, the stories are mixed up. I'm like, hell nah. I was like, what story you got? She was like, well, they're not mixed up for real, but just a part about your son being there. I'm like, oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I left that shit out because I was scared. <laughs> so I told him, I'm like, shit, I left that shit out. I ain't trying to lose my son. That's all I got for real. Like, I was like, damn, man, that's my only push like, to keep going for real, for real type shit. See how niggas, you see how he say that's all he got while well, he got two fat ass chains on his neck, some Cardi's on, and teeth that probably cost like 10000 I love that so much, man. I love that because these niggas will be deadbeat as fuck, man, and don't give a fuck about the creation they made as long as they got shit like that or on there, you feel me? So it's the opposite with him, and I like that. So goddamn, I wasn't going for that. And they just was like, yeah, you good, nah. You, it's not nothing serious. We just wanted to know. Um, but it's self-defense. Like, we already were the self-defense. Okay. And this whole thing happened in your apartment? Yeah. So did they come in and pick up the body? And, I mean, essentially, there's still blood all over your apartment. Yeah. They they just they didn't even clean up. They just grabbed them and left. Uh, okay. Have you cleaned up the apartment since then? Yeah. Cleaned up and left. <laughs> so that is what it is. Right. I ain't gonna stay in there. Goddamn. Your soul might pop up. Uh, okay. Well, the guy who, who died, you didn't know him. But the guy that tried to book the feature from you, you know who he is. No, I knew of him. Like, I don't know his name. I don't talk to him like that. Okay. Yeah. So, so when the police asked, him, asked you about the feature and everything else like that, did you tell them who it was? Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I didn't really know him like that. So I, I mean, how could I? You know what I'm saying? What do you tell him what's up? Like she like they're like, what's his name? Where does he live? And shit like that. And I'm like, I don't know. Like it's just somebody doing the feature. Like we always see each other at the show, whatever. There go. We run into each other on the outside. He like let's do this home. I'm like shit. Push up. And then I guess that's when he came with them four people. And then I, I thought they were dropping them off because they hopped out the back and they just walked in with the box. So I'm like, all right, that's their shit. Like, it wasn't no like little, like, little box. It was like a real studio box, some shit that a guy would carry. Right, but the guy that robbed you, it seemed like the other guys were in on it too because they tried to get in the room. They they shot the door. They're there. This nigga Vlad is so fucking police, nigga. Shut up. Fuck. We're involved in this whole situation as well. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I didn't even know. I didn't even know, like, what was going down for real. I didn't even expect it. Like, I wasn't thinking about, oh, I might get robbed type shit. I'm like, all right, bet. They're doing a song. He said it's good. They got, I'm talking about he hopped out the car with a wad of money. Like, if you put it in there, it's gonna bulge out. And you see it, it looked like 20000 down there. So I'm like, oh, they pulled up with the brand. Like, it's good. It's 
it's on the floor. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, there's too many situations out there like this. Like uh, Ben J from The New Boys, I did an interview with him, and he had a situation somewhat similar where a guy showed up to try to buy some weed from him, and he ended up, you know, basically pushing through the door and pulling out a gun, and they ended up tussling, and then Ben J ended up killing him in self-defense. And, uh, you know, he still goes through PTSD with that whole situation. He was actually crying when he was describing I the watched situation. That one. Uh, and sisters, you know, but at the end of the day, if you go in like to try to rob somebody, especially with an armed robbery, you should just be prepared for that being the last thing you ever do. Yeah, bro, literally, that's why, bro, I'm not going to say too much, but I got family, like, you feel me? I got family and shit, but I do stupid shit like this, and they tell me, nigga, when they do shit like this, a robbery, especially if it's in someone's crib, you're kicking in someone's door. You got it. You got to be ready for. You got to be ready to die, or you got to be ready to take a life. Like as much as you want to go in there just for whatever you want to go in there for, you want to just grab that and dip. I respect that, but you got to be ready to die. You got to be ready to take a life. That's why the street saying for everyone, do a street shit saying for everyone. Cause you kick in the door, bro. You got to be ready to die. You don't know what they have behind that door, nigga. You don't know how many people they have behind that door that's holding something. You don't know who's going to walk out that you're going to see right there that you got to, you know, up it on. So it's like, think before you do everything. Like I always say to my channel, you feel me? Think before you do everything. Right. Yeah. I know, that, shit, that, shit, that shit gave me bad PTSD for sure. Like, like. I'm sure, I'm sure, but also I don't need PTSD. I don't need but like yeah. random motherfuckers coming around me. Type shit. Yeah, I mean, but ultimately it was self defense, and ultimately, you know, the police saw it as the same way. And if you try to rob somebody, you should be prepared that that person is going to try to kill you in retaliation. I ain't gonna lie, especially when this is somebody crib, like that's okay. every. Like I said, I ain't gonna say. especially if it's in someone's crib, because they get, I promise you, you step your feet in these crib, where my girlfriend live, and her pops, my pops, you know, you feel me? You ca you catching the shell to the head, you feel me? Ain't no sweet answers for butts about it, you feel me? So it's like, like I said, I'm not a felon. Remember that. Every person dream, but that's a lot of people dream for somebody to run in their crib and play with them. Touch. That that is, and I don't know why it is. You feel me? Like that's the young, dumb, immature mindset. Oh, I can't wait till someone play with me. I got an LTC. I can't wait till someone play with me. Nah, nigga. I got an LTC, nigga, but I don't want to use it. But I'm ready to use it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be one of the niggas like I'm. I'm. I'm ready for a nigga to play with me. Nah, bro. I don't want that shit to come because I don't want to take a life. I don't want to take a life. I don't want to. I don't want to be God, you feel me? As much as I respect God, I don't want to be God, you feel me? I would never, ever want to be God. So it's like, I don't want no one to play with me in that sense if I got, and I got to defend myself and take a life, you feel me? I would never, ever want to take no one's life from them. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I mean, I had a whole invasion situation happen to me. You know, uh, I talked about it in my boosie interview. You got to do uh, you know, basically attacks me in the middle of the night because I was messing with his ex-girl and, uh, you know, it went really bad. It went really bad. I thought I'd walked out of the room and he was no longer alive. He ended up surviving. I found out, you know, after the police arrived and they went and checked it out, I found out hours later that he was still alive. But for a certain amount of time, I was like, okay, this is what it's like to kill somebody in self-defense. And it's not that bad. It's not, it's not as bad as people bad. make it out to be. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it ain't that bad. Like, I would... like it's it probably won't be that bad, I feel like, because, you know, you're protecting yourself, but you'll still, like, you'll still think about it. Don't get me wrong. You're, I feel like you'll still think about it. You feel me? Because you still just took someone's life, took them off this earth, made someone take their last breath. But, it's, of course, you're not going to think about it as much as if you were spinning or something. Because, nigga, you had to do what you had to do. It was either you take them out or they take you out. So, it's like, of course, you would pick you, I hope, nigga. To sleep good as hell the next day. I was happy yeah. as hell too. I'm like, ooh. I mean, I ain't yeah. tripping the arm fucked up or whatever, but I ain't dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the adrenaline that I'm. I did not mean to say facts, but it was facts then. 
<coughs> R.I.P. this young black brother, man. Was going through after that situation, standing out there with the police, you know, as they're basically asking me to explain what had happened. Um, yeah, man, it's almost like a, a primal thing in a man to sort of protect his home in, in a way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So when it actually happens, and the, you see the person lying there dead. In my case, he he survived. I don't know how he survived, but he survived. Uh, but damn, but Vlad Police TV, stop trying to get my black brothers to admit shit by trying to act like you're down with the crew for real. Cause you're not, you snitch. Going through that situation changed me as a human being forever. Because I think that most people haven't gone through something like this. Yeah. And once you go through something like this, yeah. you know, you won't back down in the same fashion as someone who's scared of what might happen in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, listen, I'm, I'm glad that you did what you did. Uh, That's why, facts, I'm glad you did what you did too. That's why, guys, you should always be ready so you don't have to... You know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You feel me? You got to always put yourself in that situation. Practice that situation. Practice your rights to bear arms. Exercise your rights to bear arms. Get your aim up. Do all you got to do. You feel me? Because don't have a gun just to have a gun. You feel me? That's not how it works. You don't get good at shit by just having something and not doing using it. You feel me? So go exercise your rights. Get better at what you got to do. Because you never know. You never know. You think your neighborhood's safe. You think you're you're safe. You never know who's gonna kick in your door, man. So if you have a gun and you're a gun owner, I I especially a especially a legal gun owner. You feel me? I strongly advise you to exercise your Second Amendments and you know go practice. The girl's the real gangster here. You know what I mean? We gotta just keep it one hundred. Hey, she was stepping. I ain't gonna lie. She was stepping. I know your, girl, I your girl's the real gangster in this story. Because technically, you didn't shoot. Same thing with Lil Dirk story. India was a savage. She blew back, man. But he already hit her ass and gave her a ring. You see? Real nigga. Anybody. No. No. You directed her, but ultimately, she's the one that saved your life. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, he gets big props for directing her. Because if he ain't director, they both would have been packs. He would have left, the nigga would have left with his chains. We don't know what would have happened to his son because we don't know how grimy the nigga is. He could have killed his son. You feel me? So we can't just give her all the credit. I feel like they got to share 50-50. You feel me? Because you, you can't give a basketball team the whole credit and the coach is coaching him. You feel me? So it's like, same thing with this. He coached the fuck out of her. Even after she shot him, she could have ended up dying. By staying in the line of fire, which would have made him die, because he would have ended up fucking overpowering him and killing him too. So it's like, nah, you gotta give bro some credit, bro. Come on. You know, I remember my situation. The girl I was with ran out the door and left me to die. Yeah, fair. You know? Sorry to keep pausing it, but that's another reason why you gotta pick a white, a good like you're a good female. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I feel like nine times out of ten, I feel like. My shorties go ride you, you feel me? She's not, she's not running. Now nah, I feel like nine point five times out of ten, my shorties go ride. She's not leaving me, you feel me? So pick a good girl, man. You feel me? Cause you don't want to be left out like Vlad, even though he survived and almost killed the nigga. You don't want to be asked out. You got a good bitch, man. Oh, you actually had a whole lot better than me. Hey, I was like, damn, I hope she not a whole lot. Damn, I hope she don't bitch up. Cause I mean. I Realistically, I would have still blew him down. It just would have took me longer because I'm wrestling. Well, if if you were able to, no, if you were able to, I would have been able. You you hope so. You hope so. I right? know, but too. but you know when things are are crazy like that and both people are fighting for their lives, you <coughs> don't really know what's gonna happen. Bro, when I had him with when I had him with the two and he and my girl wasn't there at all. When I had him with the two and he he was trying to pick up the gun, I was I was already wrestling him down. You feel me? If, if she wasn't there, he would have been trying to turn it and pull it over. I'm on top of him already. I got my foot on the gun. Once I hold him, I got my left foot on the gun. His hand his hand bent backward like this. So all he do is doing that. He like this, trying to aim it. Regardless, if I would have been on top of him, I just it would just would have been that. And I would have took the gun and shot him dead in the face. Because it was at one point, I damn near wrestled him. He'd get up like this and point his head over the fucking counter. What? And she she there, I grab her fucking arm and I put it right there. I'm like, pull it. And she pulled it, the uh, trigger. She had it right to his face. And I'm on back of him like this. She had it right to his face after she shot him in the back twice. She put it right on him like that. And he pointed his head up and he turned. 
and the girl right at his face. I, I'm going like this. I grab her. She 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 backward like at a distance. I'm like, but over the counter, she leaning over the counter, and I grab her shit and I pull it over. I'm like, shoot him like that, and I put it right to his fucking face. He turned like this, and she pulled it, and the fucking clip fall out, and it clicked. And it was it leaning over the counter, and I grab her shit and I pull it over. I'm like, shoot him like that, and I put it right to his fucking face. He turned like this, and she pulled it, and the fucking clip fall out, and it clicked. And it was it was the black blizzy. I'm like, what the fuck? And he just started going rampage again. I'm like, bro. I'm like, put the fucking clip in and cock it back. She go, <laughs> boom. I'm like, oh, yeah, she's stepping. She's stepping, <laughs> for sure. No, that's, that's a solid bitch, for sure. Like, I don't never knock that for shit, so. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, so the guy who tried to rob you, he was 34 years old? Huh, yeah, old ass, old head. Old head. Okay. But that's usually why I go, like. Oh, he'd be mad, y'all nigga, when he's doing too much, having too much motion. They get mad at that shit. I don't know what this situation is, but old hats do be hating, no bullshit. I don't know, but them old niggas I grew up around, yo, yo, they be fucking dick sucking, bro. Dick sucking. For young niggas winning, dick sucking. Like, nigga, when I see younger niggas than me winning, nigga, I'd be happy as fuck for it. But go ahead, pop your shit a little, bro. I mean, are you at all concerned that his people are going to try to come back? Or is it one of those situations where everyone just kind of accepts that, hey, you try to rob him, he got killed, it is what it is? I ain't going to lie, ain't no... I mean, unless they push him, there ain't no street nigga just about to let... Whether, regardless of what happened, be like, oh, it is what it is. We got people that love that nigga. Like, he got real family members, too, so... They, they for sure might do, they might do what they do, but I'm gonna get active. That's all it is, and that's what it is. Yo, why was the comment switching up his words so bad? I'm not gonna say that about the other comment, but yo, they were saying he was talking about he's not worried, nigga. Blah blah blah. They ain't gonna do nothing to him. They're pussy, nigga. He literally said, unless they're pussy, they're not gonna let that slide. They're real, unless they're real. For, like, hold on, what do you say? Unless they pussies, but ain't no street nigga just about to let what well, regardless of what happened. You feel me? Unless they're pussy, they're not no real street niggas gonna let what happened slide, you feel me? That's exactly what he said. Comments were saying he said they're pussy, blah blah blah, whoop de whoop. You feel me? That nigga ain't say that shit. Nigga, yo, niggas be lying, but that nigga did not say that shit. They do, but I'm gonna get active, that's all it is. I respect ain't that. what it is. That's on the floor. be smoked forever. Fuck them. To be honest. Right, so you got moved out of that apartment, right? Yeah. Are you moving out of the city? Damn. No. No, nah, I'm staying in the city. They not like that for real. They got down. <laughs> they broke. Oh yeah. One of me is like twenty of them. I'm talking money wise. Bro. Okay, so he did say that part. He, they could have been sick. They could have been capital about that part. That had to be actual facts. I understand how they misinterpreted the first part, but bro, them being broke don't have nothing to do with nothing. Them being broke actually gives them more remotive. If you're beefing with a broke nigga, a broke nigga has nothing but time, and they probably don't give a fuck about nothing. They got nothing to lose. So it's like if you're beefing with someone that got nothing to lose, that's the most dangerous type of nigga. Nothing to lose and nothing but time. Come on, bro. They're on your ass. Not only are they on it, they're trying to look for you 24-7 because they're poor, broken shit, have no motion. But they don't give a fuck about their life. They don't care what's going to happen. They're really the th they're risking to throw everything away. And ev their everything is nothing. So it's like, they don't have nothing to throw away. So of course they're going to risk to throw away. You feel me? And nigga. That 20 of them, um, 20 of them, um, 20 is me, one of them is me, and 20 of them, that bullshit, whatever you said, he's crazy, because, nigga, it don't matter what you got money-wise, nigga, it don't matter what you got money-wise, nigga, you got two hands, they pull up in a five-passenger car, right, that could be five people, that's ten hands, say they pull up with four, that's eight hands, 
realistically, niggas are going to have one. You feel me? So, either way, that's four on one. Even if you're doing two hands, that's four on two. He wasn't shooting two hands, though, because his other hand's broken. So, that's four on two. Niggas don't say 20 of them. I'm 20 versus one, basically, money-wise. Nigga, money ain't going to save you when it comes to that. What are you going to do versus four guns? What are you going to do versus four guns? Unless you're going to fucking pull out an RPG on some fucking little re shit. What, is, what the fuck are you going to do against four guns? Except accept your fucking fate and meet your maker. You feel me? Niggas got to stop thinking tough. And niggas got to stop thinking fucking being smart is being a pussy. Tough don't get you nowhere but dead or in a, in a jail cell. You feel me? So it's like. Niggas, I feel like niggas just got to make better decisions because money-wise, it don't mean nothing, nigga. It don't mean nothing. It don't, it, it don't mean nothing. Especially against some broke niggas who got nothing but time. So I know it's not you got to worry about. Well, BTV Savage, man, I appreciate you coming in and sharing your story. Uh, I'm show. very, very happy that you're alive, that your girl's alive, and your son is alive, most importantly. Because that's ultimately the real, that would have been the real tragedy in this situation. The biggest tragedy in the situation if something happened to your son. Yeah, fact. Um, and I'm glad that he didn't actually get to see it. Because something like that, how old is he? Four. Four years old. I mean, even at four, you might have some some images. Nah, yeah, if you oh, saw. four, you have images. I remember a lot of shit from when I was four. I mean, yeah, that, might, that might haunt you later tell. on. You know what I mean? I don't know. I didn't want to speak on it. I didn't want to see it. You know, I'm fine. Yeah, man. Well, listen, uh, you did the right thing. Um, you know, I think everyone would agree that watch that's watching this, that you did the right thing. Uh, at the end of the day, that guy got exactly what he deserved. And, um, you know, just be safe out there. Because like you said, you don't know, you know, there's people who cared about this guy, right or wrong. And uh, so for all you guys, I was saying, oh... He said there was pussy. Uh, uh, he ain't say that. You feel me? He did fuck up saying 20 of them. He's 20 versus one money wise. Whatever bullshit he said. But he never underestimated them calling them pussy. You feel me? He never did. Just move safe out there. And if you can move out of the city, if you can move to a different region, you know, my suggestion is that you do that. Because at the end of the day, no amount of money and no amount of ego is worth your life or the life of someone close to you. Right. I feel that. I feel where you're coming from. That's what it is, man. Me too. I appreciate you, man. No, for sure. I'm going to keep going. That's what it is. Peace. Peace. At Herb Chambers, I'm not going to hold you. As much as, like, the entertainment aspect of, like, the drill scene gets. The entertainment's not worth it, man. Like, that shit really do be hurting behind, like, closed doors. All the families, the friends that go behind it. Even the rappers. You got to think about it. The rappers be going through it. How many rappers do you see nowadays posting on social media that they be crying, they be hurting, they be popping pills to fucking stop themselves from feeling feelings? Like, you feel me? It's just, it's just crazy. I just feel like, besides the aspect wise, like, like I said, of like the entertainment, I feel like this shit really, it's really sad because it really hurts our community and shit. And it's nothing but sad, man. Like that shit hurts because we're doing nothing but depleting our numbers, man. And hey, man, that's just sad. But hey, I wish bro would have listened to Vlad and move out the city. That's the first time I'm going to say I wish someone would listen to Vlad, man. I wish he would listen to Vlad and move out the city, took his advice, because I feel like he would have been here to fight another day. But hey, man. All I'm going to say is do the best, take the best advice, do what's best for you, man. But man, listen, it's your boy. Oh, and don't forget to smash the like button, comment some, you know other recommendations and most importantly subscribe and ring that fucking post notification bell bitch listen it's your boy out a out and we out
my money longer, yeah, like I'm with her on you Met that bitch last night, she seen my chain, she turned right to a groupie Took her back to the crib, I ain't a director, but we made a movie Too much money can't fit in my purple jeans